What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. Things seem to just keep getting worse for Intellivision and the Intellivision Amico with one of their key games that was supposed to debut with the system being Cornhole and how Mike Mollison, the next level gaming show or whatever, he got an early copy of the Intellivision to share with his audience and to play the games. And, and Cornhole's one of the games he played and he kind of exposed it for being a complete fraud. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and bell for notifications so you do not miss an upload. Also, I have an article ready to be published right now about the Intellivision Amigo Cornhole accidentally being exposed by a shill as a broken mess. The video that Mike Mullis uploaded going over with his kid or kids, I don't know, he loves putting his kids in everything and then getting mad at everyone for showing his kids. But I have no way of showing this video footage and talking about it without that. So I'm sorry, Mike, I am not going to say anything bad about you. It has nothing to do with you and your family, dude. This is about cornhole and how the broken promises of Intellivision are showing through. Now, I never personally played cornhole when I went up to Intellivision headquarters the multiple times, was it three? At least three times that I went up there. I never played cornhole and was never shown cornhole. So my only experience with this game was watching it from the official Intellivision YouTube channel up to this point. And Tommy telling me about how this thing was going to be transcendental and completely revolutionized the gaming industry because it's going to use motion controls and physics that are so accurate that it's going to be a system seller. He was looking at Cornhole, and I kid you not, as basically the Wii Bowling game, like the system seller for the Amico, Cornhole was supposed to be that. Then it came out that Cornhole didn't actually fully use motion controls, that it had some buttons you had to press first. And when I first heard that, I was like, all right, not, not the biggest deal. I mean, Wii Bowling, you still had to like move on the lane and adjust before you started the motion. But that was that was it on Wii Bowling. You moved across the lane on, and pointed the direction. And then everything else was motion controlled. Whereas with Cornhole, you have to set the height, the verticality and everything else before the shot. And the motion is just a button being pushed. The tech is not that impressive. It's, if you throw it hard, it's a long button press. And if you don't throw it hard, it's a soft button press. That's not motion controls. That's pressing a button by moving your hand. So yes, it can fool the average person, I guess, for a little while of, oh yeah, it's motion controls. But in reality, it's not, it's just a bunch of buttons you press and then one motion and that's another button hidden behind mechanics of the motion of the controller. It's really not as spectacular as Tommy would have liked you to think. But whatever, that's Tommy speak and I think anyone who's been involved in the Intellivision Amigo saga for longer than one video would know that Tommy is someone who is not to be believed for whatever they say. Okay. With all that being said though, is the game still good? Is it still fun? Does it still replicate real life physics? Well, no, no, and no. <laughs> and Mike Mullis' video proved this. Let's, let's take a look at, at some of these realistic physics from Cornhole. I will give it credit for if you do get close to the cornhole center it does slide in and look somewhat realistic but look at this one here like this is impressive it's almost like it's a haunted cornhole beanbag where it has a mind of its own and travels completely opposite direction of how it's thrown whereas anyone who's played real life cornhole would know that there's a heavy weight to these sacks and they they either sit hard depending on if you throw it really hot, high it will sit and slam down or if you throw it hard across it will bounce and skid and shoot forward it never bounces hard and then skids backward fast which is what happens in this video that's not realistic physics whatsoever 
This feels like it's a half-baked game that they just got pushed out the door and they were embarrassed to move forward with it. And it's another reason why they didn't sell a console. Because this game is not complete. It's just crappy shovelware that another game could have passed having it as part of a compilation of 40 different games. Okay, yeah, I guess this one could could be could hide in there and be hidden enough where no one will really talk about it. But this was one of the main key selling points of the Amico system was cornhole. And the way Tommy talked about it was like, oh my god, it's gotta be on the level of Wii Bowling. It's gotta have perfect physics. It's gotta have the, the perfect motion controls. It's gotta have the perfect graphics. Which, by the way, let's, let's talk about those graphics for a quick second here. So, friend of the channel, No Swear Gamer, made a video last year talking about the incredible downgrade in the graphics from when it first got unveiled in, what was it, 2018? to what it was at in 2022. Check out what happened at Cornhole. This is, this is from their video, their special event. This is in television's own video, August 5th, 2020. Look at the artwork. You see some texture in the grass. You see some leaves. You see the, the roses. So there's some stuff going on. Even the board has different designs that they showed off. Look at the unboxing video they just posted not too long ago on March 22nd, about, you know, two years later. Look how flat these trees look. Look at the lack of detail in the grass. Plain board. This almost looks like a downgrade. When you go from this to this, tells me something's going on. Where this was one of the huge lies that Intellivision promoted. Where they showed video, they showed screenshots, they showed the graphics, and it looked pretty decent. It looked impressive. Like, a really high quality phone. And it turns out that was a lie too. They weren't even able to move those graphics onto what the Intellivision Amico was able to house. Either they didn't know what the final specs were or they were building a game on a computer and when they tried to put it on the Amico, they're like, oh crap, it can't run these graphics. We need to completely downgrade them and make it look like cardboard cutouts of trees from from worse than a Wii game. We're we're talking like PlayStation 1 <laughs> graphics to me. Worse? I, I worse than PlayStation. Like at least PlayStation 1 had like 3D images. These are like paper cutouts and not even good ones. They're like jagged and and weird. It's it's strange. Not, no one's buying the Intellivision Amico for graphics, obviously. But my greater point being is how they sold investors on one thing and then turns out that that wasn't realistic whatsoever. It's actually a way downgraded version of the graphics. And oh yeah, that's that's what you're going to end up playing. And hopefully you forget what it looked like because it's been so long since we unveiled it five years ago or six years ago or ten years ago or whenever it does eventually come out, which is looking slimmer and slimmer as time goes on. But regardless of that, my greater point being, it's just another lie. And I guess my frustration with all of this is people like DJC and Mike Mullis are complicit in this lie that are peddling this snake oil for their masters, telling everyone how much fun this is and how great it is while ignoring all the lies that led up to this point and pretending that everything's rainbows, sunshine, and butterflies when it's not. It's been a lot of lost money, stolen money, extorted money from investors. And what do we have to show for it? Two people that peddle this more than anyone will not say a bad thing about it, getting their consoles to peddle it to the public more. Nobody else gets one. Early founders, early people to it, people that have talked about it and wanted to share this with their audience and be honest about it. No, they don't get one. And you don't have to wonder too hard as to why that is. It's, it's pretty obvious, but still, just another feather in the cap of Intellivision, of lies, of deceit, of they don't want people to know the truth. And the truth is, the reality is, all they've done is deceive their investors, their audience, the gamers out there, getting them motivated and excited for something that doesn't even exist. And with Intellivision's cornhole being shown off here, being a complete embarrassment 
by Mike Mullis and his family, how it doesn't even function properly, just exposes them once again for being a company that maybe they're not awful people. Maybe they're nice people that are really trying hard, John Alvarado. Maybe, maybe that's the case. But regardless of that, the game is not good. It doesn't function the way it should. The motion controls are not good. Everything about the graphics that you were told to us is a lie. This game itself was built up way bigger than it should have been. This should have been a not even mentioned game, something that came out on a random Tuesday that people wanted to buy. Not a headlining title for your console of lies, but then again, is anyone really surprised? I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, you stay smashing. Smash, Jay, Smash, Jay, Smash, Jay.